Hello, my Yarny X. This is Sandy from Left is Right Crochet. And I'm here because I miss you guys. And I have a few things, not, not very much that I've done. But I did get some acquisitions, and so I wanted to talk to you. So here I am, and there you are. Let's start with the work in progress, okay? Uh, this actually I showed as a work in progress several weeks ago. A little hat. But the reason it's a work in progress is because it needed buttons there, and it still needs buttons there. However, this leads me into acquisitions, and I acquired wooden buttons. Nice wooden buttons. Oh, it fell down. Oh, well. Um, I don't know. There's about eh, between 80 and 100 in there, and they're different colors and different shapes, and this is handmade with love, and these little hearts, and these little flounders. And these are different color, different shape of flounders, uh, two hole buttons and four hole buttons and button buttons. Button button, who's got the button? Um, so, good deal. Amazon, 11 monies. Can't beat it. Well, I guess you could. But I didn't want to look any harder than that. For me, that was a good enough deal, so I'll take that. Um, last week, you saw me receive... Um, some winnings that I got lucky enough. No, John got lucky enough. Mr. Wright got lucky enough to win from Hooked Up Crochet. This beautiful yarn here. And so this beautiful yarn became, voila, a scarf. It's very light and easy to work with, and I loved it. And this pattern, bless her heart, came from Tracy. And she said, it's very easy. You just chain 33, and then you go back in the second chain from the hook, and you skip two, two double crochets. No, five double crochets in a cluster. Skip two, do a post, repeat across, turn it around, do the same thing coming back, the same thing going that, and that, and that, and that, and hoochah, hoochah, hoochah. Scarf. Oops. Come back here. Big, nice, pretty scarf. Very wonderful television project. You just sit on there, sit there and watch television and repeat, repeat, repeat. And all of a sudden you have something that's very nice and light and easy to wear. And the colors are gorgeous and I love it. And thank you, Jamie, from Hooked Up. Because I love it. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now the rest is pretty... Oh, no. Yeah, the rest is pretty much acquisitions. No, it is all acquisitions. I mean, get the heavy one out of the way first. This one is a big mamu. This. Ugh. I had no idea this was going to be so heavy. This attaches to the table or the counter or whatever. And this attaches to my camera so that I can actually, and it, it bends, it's bendable. I hope it's supposed to bend, <laughs> either, that, either that or I've just got really, really strong. Um, it bends around so that I can now start filming, bend I say, bend, uh, tutorials. Because I couldn't figure out how to hold the camera and hold the crochet and hold the hook and hold the yarn and hold the light and do all of that all in one swell fit. So this is going to solve my problem. Again, Amazon. 19 monies. I'm liking Amazon a lot. And the fact that we've got Prime, which means no shipping, is <laughs> more than a little handy. Okay, setting this down carefully so that I don't damage my table. That's heavy. <clears throat> Another acquisition I got, and you guys have probably all seen this. I had not, so I was very impressed. This little hoo-ha is a row counter. Now, I have one of those little two-piece circular ones where you have to pick it up and twist the knob every time you want to change the row count on. This little thing actually fits on your finger. I'm not going to bother trying to put it on right now. But in order to mark a row, you just hit the little button, and it marks the row. So you don't have to set down your crochet hook, pick up the little thing, and twist it to get... And this was like five monies. 
that it was cheap, cheap, cheap. Got it at Hobby Lobby. I love it. And I mean, you know, you can hit it with your elbow, you can hit it with your nose, you can... And then if you just, when you're done and you want to go back to zero, you just hit the reset and it goes zero. It's supposed to. Anyway. Oh, yes, it did. Oh, I was hitting it. <laughs> I was hitting it backwards, so I didn't. There it is. Zero. Yeah, so I thought that was, and it does, it works. You can just put it on your finger, any finger, and left-handed or right-handed. And it works great. I'm in love. Because I, I found that really awkward to, every time I got to the end of the road, I have to put down the hook and pick up the little thing and twist. This is easy. <laughs> uh, don't do that. <laughs> Told you. It would be so good. The dog next door came out. Oh, well. Okay, next. I got this at Hobby Lobby. Needle art. And it's a little book. And it says, Yarn is a Lifestyle, which you've all heard before. But it actually tracks your project and what size yarn you're using and the name of the project and what size, what weight yarn, um, what type of yarn, what you're making with it, um, and, and all the pages do that. So you can have hundreds of projects and keep track of them in this handy dandy little book. I thought that was pretty slick. Again, Hobby Lobby, yarn department. Right there on the end cap where they get you with all the little things so it's like that are so cute that you can't leave there. Yeah, that one. Um, oh, these little guys. You know what those are? Those are yarn bobbins. And they are so handy for doing the charts and the charted graph pattern corner to corner things and the things where you have multiple yarns and you need little bobbins. You just wind up whatever color on your little bobbin and that makes it easy rather than trying to put them in little balls and have the balls roll all over the place and obviously I have more than three well I shouldn't say obviously you have no way of this maybe my whole stash in the world you don't know I don't know uh, but in addition to that then I picked up these little guys which are heavy duty Close, please? No, they're not. They're, what do they call them? Multiple pur multi purpose clips. So after you wind up your bobbin, oh, I got a car. So after you wind up your bobbin and you're working on your project, you just clip your bobbin to the edge of your project as you work along. Pretty slick, huh? I like it. There was one, two, three, six in a pack. And it was one mini at Dollar Tree. I such a deal. Couldn't leave it on the shelf. And last and pretty much least, I followed Krista's lead and I got myself some buckets for my work in progress rather than having them in bags and trying to figure out what's in what bag. And so very easy to just throw in the hook and the yarn and the work in progress so we'll see if I like that idea or not and that's that okay now we got a kind of a serious subject and yeah you know me I don't like to be serious but this kind of is <clears throat> as some of you may have heard YouTube has come out with a new policy regarding the channels that are allowed to broadcast on YouTube and that are allowed to be monetized and um, be allowed to have comments made to them. It's supposed to take effect in January of next year and it's regarding um, things that are appropriate for children to watch. Well, they've made some, to me, arbitrary decisions about what's child targeted for children, if you will. It's regarding toys, um, figurines, action figures, stuff like that, but it very, it potentially very heavily affects the amigurumi and toy making that we do, our crafting. 
Now, they're going to start enforcing it in January. I'm not sure when they're going to start monitoring for this type of object that they consider targeting the child viewer. They may already be doing that and gathering information in that regard, but they're not going to, they say they're not going to enforce it until January. Well, if this is the case, and this breaks my heart, I mean, it seriously does. As a matter of fact, I may. <clears throat> no, I won't. <clears throat> that means that Octavia will have to go away. Octavia and company. So I will monitor this, and there's going to be lots of discussion and lots of hoo-ha about it. Um, but there's a good potential that as of the 1th of October, when the eggs are distributed, <clears throat> that I won't be able to do Octavia anymore. Which I find very, very, very sad. I hope that they can change the wording on some of these things or make better definition about <clears throat> how they're going to apply this ruling. Because as it stands, anybody who it's just and it's it's going to be monitored by a bot, a robot. So, for instance, I've got games here in the background that be that could be considered targeted targeting child, child viewing because it's games. The bot would pick that up or could pick that up. I shouldn't say would because I don't know. I really don't. But I'm very very concerned and I think since. We don't know. Octavia may go on a vacation. I won't say you'll never see her again, but I'm very concerned about the fact that I'm a, I'm I'm liable to be shut down because of the fact that I use her as a comic figurine. They, because it is a toy, so I could be held liable. And I, it, as I said, it breaks my heart. So I will get off that subject, <clears throat> and um, I intend to make more videos this week, and now that I have my handy-dandy hoo-ha with twisty thing, I can, ha, huh, hopefully, film some videos. And crazy, like a loon that I am, my very first video that I take, my very first tutorial is going to be the double magic circle. She's nuts. She's mental. Just <laughs> not starting with chain, not starting with single crochet, double magic circle. That's where I'm gonna go, that's my go-to. It may be a total fiasco, in which case we will laugh our way through it, and I will make a total fool of myself. <laughs> like that's anything new. And that's where we'll start. As soon as I figure out how to get this attached and hold the whole octopus thing with <laughs> with the light and the yeah. So, the round, I love you, I love you, I love you. The dogs love you. Mr. Light is home, that's why they're barking like that. And I will talk to you soon. Take care, be good to yourself, give yourself some slack, crochet away. Bye bye.